Sachin, uh, thanks a ton for joining us today. Really a pleasure to have you. Absolutely. So Sachin is uh, the Director of Partner Management uh, for Security Solutions and Strategic Initiatives at Microsoft Asia. We have, I think we're talking about 25 years of leadership experience that you bring to the table here. So I'm sure there's something worth that we're going to carry out of this conversation. And that at Microsoft, I think with over 14 odd years, you've uh, been instrumental in launching new businesses in areas such as M365, Dynamics 365, uh, Azure, IoT and security, if I'm not wrong. Also, I think uh, what, I, uh, what, what I remember from you is that you're a long distance cyclist and uh, an yes. avid adventure biker as well. You just came back from a recent biking trip in the Himalayas, yes. right? Yes. So fabulous. That, that sort of brings me to this observation and a question, Sachin. I have this feeling that people who are most aware about security and risk are the people that uh, find it possible to push the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Would that be a right statement to make? Uh, absolutely, Ravi. I mean, you bring up a very good point here, right? Uh, taking risk, uh, dealing with that unknown, right is always the game in the security business as well right because you've got people in the dark web who are constantly evolving and creating a threat environment right and working in the security business again right taking that unknown understanding that unknown and then driving an outcome uh, is definitely one of the areas which excites uh, me right and as a risk taker again right uh, you talked about my biking experience you talked about my cycling right um, i have done multiple skydives as well oh wow right? so, so it adds up right and that unknown element uh, helps me right. in, on the business front as well right yes. that's, that's fabulous that's fabulous i think uh, uh, talking about security we're definitely talking to the right person here. <laughs> yeah. fabulous good thanks once again for joining us uh, uh, sachin one of the things that uh, you know um, we often sort of see in, in our conversations with customers mm -hmm. is that there is a certain tentativeness when it comes to modernization, mm -hmm. right? And, and particularly those that are on legacy, um, you know, on-prem apps uh, yeah. and systems. But they also realize at the same time that uh, with the kind of imperatives that they have given the changes in technology, given, given the scale requirements, uh, often IoT, AI, yeah. Uh, containers and all of these kind of uh, uh, new waves that we're seeing, they are sort of uh, stuck at this point where uh, security on their existing legacy systems is yeah. a massive challenge for them. Yeah. You know, um, multi-factor authentication or passwordless authentication is pretty much uh, impossible for them, right? Yeah. And then I see that security does seem to become a dominant reason for them to consider modernization. Uh, would that be true Sachin? I mean, or, or is there really uh, something that they're missing that they don't really need to go in for modernization and still be ultra secure in, in, in today's context uh, of security? See, uh, you know, majority of the customers when you talk to them, right, one big imperative is the total cost of ownership of maintaining the application on premise, not modernizing it. And then of course, moving it to the cloud and then driving that migration and modernization journey. And slowly the customers have realized that moving applications and migrating and doing modernization on the cloud actually gives them that basic security cover, which they never had on their on-premise solutions. So that's one lever of execution, right? The other big lever of execution uh, is that constant innovation, which they are stuck when they are in the legacy environment. Right? If these organizations have to take advantage of the new innovation which is coming from a data and AI perspective, from an IoT security perspective, from a, a machine learning perspective, right? they have to innovate. They have to actually drive that migration journey and then once they migrate it, drive that modernization journey of their application. So you bring up a very good uh, point here, right? Uh, is security one of the levers? Absolutely. And again, why is it a lever? Because 
there are these mafia organizations across mm-hmm. the globe because mm-hmm. security world works as a mafia Correct. again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's a group of individuals who are constantly going and trying to find out what are the loopholes in mm-hmm. the legacy environment. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then there's a group of individuals who are constantly trying to go and build attack tools. And there is a group of individuals who actually go and deploy it. And then there is another group which is actually like a collecting agent. So there's a mafia network which is operating. Amazing. And well organized network. <laughs> well organized network. And it's very well oiled as well. Yeah. So to mitigate those uh, attack vectors, you have to constantly innovate. You have to move with companies who actually understand this, right? And help large organizations mitigate this attack vectors as well. So you're correct, right? Migration, modernization is the base foundation with which you have to start off and then drive the holistic security conversation. Fabulous.